continual supply, and then we read on down, and said, it is obvious, obvious for this request from the Jews that they did not comprehend what Jesus was saying mm -hmm. about himself. Mm -hmm. They asked him to give them this bread and to keep giving it to them from the time on. They thought that it, they thought if they could have the bread that Jesus was talking about giving them, their life <coughs> would be much easier. Mm. We think like that sometimes. Mm -hmm. We think I got plenty of money, my life will be easier. Uh, I got, I don't have to worry about my, nothing on my life to be easy because I'm thinking on how much my bank account worth. I don't have to worry about nothing. I got it good <coughs> in the shape. Mm. Hey, Amen. <laughs> we don't have to be in the shape. I don't care how much money you got. You ain't got it made in the shape. Right. Uh, you get Jesus down in you. All right. And let him guide you. Uh, yes. I do this sometimes. I'm um, thinking about get driving. I do the driving in my automobile, but I want him to do the driving in me. Mm. I want him to turn me, turn me this way, turn me out. I'm going to go where he turns me. Moving on down the line. Thank you. It says, uh, go down a little bit further. Begin to. Two minutes. Soon began to seek the true bread that Jesus talked about. However, like the woman of Samaria, they were not ready for salvation. She wanted the living water so that she would not have to keep going to the well. The crowd wanted the bread so they would not have to till, have to till and maintain life. See, see people, and that's why I say, if I was a preaching on this or this today, I will use, what are you following him for? Because mm. he's everything. Yes. Everything that we everything need is in him. And some folk will follow him as long as they see the miracle. Mm -hmm. That's good. As long as they see uh -huh. the bread is flowing. Look at the Israelites, how they were. And, and uh -huh. he more spoke to him, mm -hmm. spoke to them through what God's word told them. Mm -hmm. Get what you need today. Mm -hmm. And some of them were so greedy. <laughs> And no one yeah. could eat it, but they gathered up more than they would have been given. Yes, for. yes. It's for. Mm -hmm. See, see, when we listen to the word of God, God's word is to help us daily. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Every day we come on in this word and get something that help us mm -hmm. daily. Yes. It's our daily bread. Daily bread. Amen. It, it is food to the soul every day. Mm -hmm. And when you listen and it's God, what you want me to do? See, we got to talk to God. Yeah. We just can't. We don't know it all. We don't know how much we can go. Ask God, what you want me to do today? Mm -hmm. And when He tell you and how He tell, Lord, help me. Help me. We got to have some help <coughs> to do these things. Oh yeah. Because sooner, don't fool yourself. Soon as He put you on assignment, yes. The devil is out there too, <laughs> waiting on you to start your assignment. Oh mm. Lord. Amen. He there, just like a gate. Yeah, he yes. that gate, and he's standing right there waiting for yes. you to start your assignment. Mm. Mm. So you need some help from on high. Yes. And I'm a hearse now. Somebody else might have a thought from this lesson. The bread of life. All right, I'm going to get in here real quick this time. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the last time we got left out. Uh -oh. I said to, to, to Dad, I said, well, I better hush. He had me teach the whole lesson. <laughs> 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 so anyway, yeah, I just want to uh, talk about what God, okay, we knew about natural stuff. Yes, Jesus sir. came to teach us about the spiritual soul. Yes, if we knew about natural strength, he came to teach us about the spiritual yes, strength. Yes, yes. Amen. And, and, and which would help us even in the natural stuff. Yes. Uh, when Moses, uh, when God, like I said, Moses didn't send that bread, send the man to heaven. God did. God did. But that was for the physical. 
Yes. You know, yes. that was that was physical bread, that manna was. But you know, but it but it was a a spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, God sent it, you know, and it was just out there and like you say, they told them, you know, just get what you need today. You know, and you know, and then, you know, then get the next tomorrow. And then but on this uh on the sixth day, they could get two. They get enough for two days and it was fall. Yes. Yeah, but it but it was fall on the other day. But anyway, so so when Jesus came, now he's the he's the bread. He's a spiritual bread for God. Yes, sir. Okay, you know, that, that he's given them. You know, and now now he's telling you about the spiritual needs. You need, you need that spiritual strength. You need that spiritual bread, you know, to, to start the day. That's why you seek ye first the kingdom of God. That spiritual strength. Then, then you have enough to whatever is added to the day. You have the strength to go to it and the wisdom to, to do what you need to get to it. Thank you. Amen. But that's why we need to seek that. A lot of times we seek the physical stuff and we don't have the spiritual strength to, to keep us with it, you know, yeah, we get jobs we can't keep because the attitude is bad. We don't have spiritual strength. <laughs> Amen. You know, we wonder why we can't keep a job, we can't keep money, because we don't have no spiritual strength. Right. Amen. To put up with anything, to you know, to deal with anything, because we don't have strength in the inside. So Jesus taught us that's that's what this bread, this bread is about. You know, you get spiritual strength from Him, and you believe on Him, and they quench that thirst and give you that. You know, it say it say you hunger and thirst for righteousness, you will be filled. Yes. You will be satisfied. Yes. This natural stuff, you want more and more. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. But you you hunger right, you will be satisfied. Yes. So, yes. so you know, so we just need to learn to seek that strength, yes. and He give us a strength to get you know right. uh, the other things that we need. Right. Mm -hmm. So we do need that spiritual bread. Right. Amen. That's oh, it. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 It said, give us this day our yes. yes. daily bread. Come on, this day. Mm -hmm. Don't think of for tomorrow. It's something stirring up yeah. for tomorrow. But I'm saying for good. this day. Thank you. Anybody else? Jesus. Thank you, other folks. Thank you, Lord. I said, thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Yes, yes. Yeah, and, and that is true. Yeah, they man. just sit back, you know, 
you mm -hmm. be working hard, mm -hmm. but yeah. I'm able to do that with the spirit in me. Right. But yeah, yeah, yeah when I was in my thirties, no way <laughs> you gonna pull your pull. Come on, man. Yes, man. Yes. Right. <laughs> See the peace that God give us to yeah. endure yeah. the situation that we mm -hmm. uh, and I thank God thank you, for that. Mm -hmm. And in this le a lesson here today, we learn that Jesus is all He is. Yes. Not something. He's all that Amen. we need. Amen. All that we need. Is Amen. And we, you know, just seek Him and believe on Him. Yes. 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 Oh, I like that. That's all. Others have something. Praise God. Thank, thank you. Praise God. Amen. Well, another witness. Thank I, you. I thank the Lord for my uh, being here today. Yes. Uh, because if it was not for, for him, mm -hmm. I would not be here. So praise mm -hmm. God. And we are uh, talking this morning <coughs> about uh, uh, bread of life. Yes. And we are uh, talking about uh, Jesus <coughs> because he is the bread of life. Yes. yes. And and uh, uh, this uh, what uh, as a, a child of God, mm -hmm. our life is supposed to be based on eternal uh, need first. Mm -hmm. Yes. Our eternal needs uh, are to be based on first. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, praise God. And and uh, uh, of course we we need natural needs. But uh, uh, your your mindset should be on eternal things. Yes. Uh, yes. Praise yes. God. When your mind is on the eternal things, yes. then you can live holy. Yes. 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 You can walk oh, upright yeah. and speak the truth mm -hmm. in your heart. Yes. Yes. When your mind is on the eternal things. Mm -hmm. But so many of uh, God's people mm -hmm. are, are on 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 uh, uh, the natural things. How how yes. uh, large a church I can be mm -hmm. uh, 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 I want to be the greatest leader, the yes. greatest pastor, or greatest this. Yes. Yes. Praise God on the natural uh, part of it. Mm -hmm. But praise God, who want to be the greatest uh, uh, on on the spiritual part? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Praise God, it's Amen. a lifestyle yes. that you have to live. Yes. You can't oh, yeah. live any kind of life <coughs> oh, yeah. uh, on this e eternal uh, uh, lifestyle. Right. Praise God. Glory to That's God. That's right. My mind, I was sitting over here and I was thinking about mm -hmm. the time God uh, put me on a 30-day fast. Mm -hmm. And the 30-day fast was just water. No food. Mm -hmm. Just water. Praise God. And uh, uh, before, he, he just told me, he said, I want you to uh, go on a 30-day fast. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, Lord. Mm -hmm. And I went uh, to the store and bought all kinds of juices <laughs> and all. Mm -hmm. And the Lord didn't stop me from doing it. When I brought it home and everything, he said, all I want you to do is just drink water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, Lord. Yeah. Now, if my mind wasn't on on uh, eternal thing, mm -hmm. I couldn't have done that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thirty days without any food. Amen. Praise God. God. Glory to <coughs> God. I went to work and worked five days a week. Mm -hmm. Five days Glory a week. To God. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I uh, I uh, kept my mind on Jesus. And it just seemed like uh, I was so rejuvenated, yes. so rejuvenated, and and uh, I was going through my work, and mm -hmm. and I didn't even didn't even think on what I was doing. Amen. I was just going through my work and everything. The Lord just just carried me through yes. day by day. Yes, praise wow. God, glory to God, and and uh, and and uh, uh, I was just so excited. So excited uh, uh, because I was getting more in the Bible, more mm -hmm. daily. Yes. And and uh, 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 just meditating on Him. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Wasn't even thinking nothing about uh, things in the world. Mm -hmm. 
just my mind was just on him. Wow. Praise yeah. God. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And and uh I lost some of that. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And and I'm praying to get back to that. Yeah. Praise God. Glory yeah. to God. Wow. And and uh, uh I I I, I know that we can do all things through yeah. Christ oh, yeah. with strength. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes, sometimes uh, you get so busy, caught up in this, <coughs> and caught up in that, yeah. and everything, and and uh, you can lose uh, yes. uh, something that you have, yes. or, or because yes. of all yes. of that. Right. Praise God, and that's why I said our, our lives should. Uh, always be on the eternal uh thing first yes, yes. Uh, praise god and the lord uh, uh, uh see us through the rest of it whatever we have to do he'll see us through that's that. right. That's right. Right. always put him first yes. uh praise god Amen. glory to god and and uh uh like a uh a center uh center person like uh jesus was uh letting them know that he was the uh, bread of life, yeah. mm. and and uh, they were uh, thinking about uh, natural bread. Yeah, and and uh, as a brother uh, Brian was uh, saying, all they were thinking about was the natural part of yeah. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and uh, this lesson here, uh, before this is started at the twenty twenty uh, second, and uh, but before that. Uh, it's where uh, Jesus fed the uh, uh, five thousand. Yes. Uh, praise God, and and uh, and uh, taking up twelve load, uh, twelve baskets, you know, oh, of food okay. from from the uh, fragment of, of of what he had uh, prayed over, yes. and uh, and God blessed it, mm -hmm. and and fed the five thousand. Yeah, uh, men right. beside women and children. Right. Mm -hmm. Praise yeah. God. It was it was a, a, a great body of people. Yes, yes. Uh, praise God that He fed out of five fish and and uh, uh, five loaves of bread and two little fishes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five fish. No, five loaves and two fish. Yes. yes. Praise God. And uh, uh, He prayed over the fish. And they multiply. Mm -hmm. As he was breaking their fish, giving it to his disciples to give to the people, the, uh, uh, the food was just Come on. multiplying. The truth. Mm -hmm. And the bread yes. was multiplying. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Glory God to God. Mm -hmm. And we are talking about the, the uh, bread of life, yes. uh, ah. Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, praise God. And, and as a Christian, Jesus. we are not to say what we can't do. Amen. He is not to say that. Amen. Praise God. Because uh, in Christ That's Jesus, true. we can do all things yes. uh, through Him. Yes. We can't do it ourselves. Yes. But through Him, we can do all things. Yes. Right. It's nothing is too hard for Him. Right. Okay. Praise God. Yeah. We have to keep our mind yeah. on, him. on Him. Praise God. And not uh, uh, thinking so much about what's going on in the world. Right, Praise man. God. Because if you are reading your Bible, you <laughs> see what's going on in the world. Yes, yes, Praise yes. God. Yes. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And the Bible lets you know what what have been. Come on. It, it's, it's happening now. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And so, so uh, our mind is not to be focused on, on the things yeah. of the world. Yeah. Our minds are to be focused on heavenly things. Yes. Uh, praise God. And and uh, we think about these things in the in the world. Come on. Uh, if we think all about these things in the world, this 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 world as a Christian, this world is not our home. No. Mm. no. Not our eternal home. No. Yes. We are just just yes. traveling pilgrims yes, in this barren land. Just go, just going through here. Yes, we are. Praise God. Glory yeah. to God. God wants us as Christians to live well. Yeah. Yes. He want us yeah. To. Yeah. How can you tell the the uh, uh, sinners uh, that God can bless you if you're not blessed? Amen. You can't tell them uh, uh, God is 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 uh, uh, a healer, a deliverer, and He's the one that blessed. Mm -hmm. If you're not blessed, mm -hmm. so that's why he wants his people to be blessed, <coughs> yes. so the world can see it yes. by themselves. Yes. Praise God and know 
yeah. that there's a difference. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise God, That's glory right. to God. Mm -hmm. And so we have to uh, keep our mind on Him. Yes, yes. Uh, praise God, because because God is our everything. Yes, yes. He is. Praise yes, God. He is. he is our everything. All in all. And uh, this uh, writing said here, say God gave his uh, people manna from heaven yes. for physical food. Yes. While Jesus gave himself yes. as the bread yes. of life for spiritual food yes. for us. Yes. And, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus is that spiritual food. Yes. Yes. Uh, praise yes. God. That life that yeah. life, right. praise God, uh, that life that he gave us, mm -hmm. that we can live this life. Yeah. Yeah. We can live this life through the life that he yeah. gave us, mm -hmm. uh, praise God. But yeah. before we had this life, we were yeah. blinded, yes. we were in darkness, yeah. uh, praise God. Mm -hmm. And and, uh, and we believed in, in him yeah. uh, uh, and received him. Mm -hmm. Then we have life. Have life. Uh, praise God. <coughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. And and uh, 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 when you're dead, you can't do nothing. No, that's mm. right. You can't do. You can't move anymore. You can't talk Ooh, anymore. Jesus. You can't see. You can't do nothing. No, praise God. You just dead. Mm -hmm. And and uh, when they take you to the under, uh, take a, a shop and 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 uh, other people dead over here you can't tell them move me on this side you can't say nothing no. you just uh, wherever they put you that's yeah. that's where you be yeah. praise god glory to god and see we don't want to be spiritual dead Amen. we don't want to that's be spiritual right. dead right. can't do nothing my god. praise god glory to god we, we we want to be lively stones yes. lively Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Have a word to say yes. to help somebody. Yes. Praise, Praise God. To see Jesus mm -hmm. uh, for themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, we can't see it for them. No. Right. We had to see it for ourselves. Yes. Yeah. Praise God. And, and uh, right. we have to be that light that yeah. they can see how to come through come Jesus on, through our lifestyle. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. We, that's why we have to live a, a, a different lifestyle so they can see and want to come. That's Praise right. God. Right. You have to want to come. When you see something good, you want some of that. Yeah. Mm. You want uh, 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 to be a part of that. Yes. Praise God when something good. Mm -hmm. And so when you are doing good, uh, praise God, people are looking at you. That's mm. Praise right. God. Sure and say, I wish I could, was like that yeah. and all. Because I, I noticed the saints when I was out there in the world. Yeah. Mm. I noticed yeah. uh, 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 their action was different from mine. Mm. I noticed things. Uh, praise God and glory to God. And when I went to church and, and the scene seen uh, their manner of acting and everything. Mm -hmm. I was want to be like that. Yes. I was sitting in church. I don't want to be like that. Yes. And I'm sitting here ignorant, didn't know how to uh, right. uh, go right. by. Right. Mm -hmm. But as long as I sit under the word, right. yes. I sit under the word, yes. then I learn yes. uh, uh, to believe what I heard. Yes. I learned to believe yes. in this man they call Jesus. Yeah. I learned they were uh, talking about Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I learned to believe what they were saying about Jesus yeah. and what he could do and all that. Yeah. I said, well, if he could do that for them, mm -hmm. uh, he can do it for me. Yeah. Praise oh, God. Yeah. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And so, so uh, this uh, Jesus, this bread of life, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 praise God. You, he Lord. can do all Thank of these you. things. Yeah. Praise God. Glory to God. Woo. And, and uh, he can help you do things. Oh, yes. Praise yes, God. Does. That, that, that uh, you need to do. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Grace. Glory to God. Oh, we Jesus. have to seek him daily. Yes, ma'am. And, and uh, we can't get in a hurry. Mm -hmm. We have to live this life day by yes. day. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Because we don't know how long we're going to be. That's right. right. And we have to live this, take our time mm -hmm. and live holy. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. I don't want to uh, take up all the time. Oh, no. I know someone else has something to say. Good. Uh, I'll quit, but I'm not
come before the Lord, we are excited. We're not a dead church. Uh -huh. And uh, when we hear one another speaking, we're yes. filling up on each other. Oh, yes. And so yes. we're getting a little excited. We might start dancing. Praise yes. the Lord. Mm -hmm. Brother Polly started this. Uh -huh. Yes. Early. But it ain't over like Mother said. Mm -hmm. And I just thank the Lord for him being our bread. Yes. Our life. Yes. There's a reason he put the word life. Yes. Because without Jesus, you have nothing. <clears throat> you have nothing without him. So we want to start off this day mm -hmm. with with our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be our, your name. Mm -hmm. It gives God praise. His glory. Yes. And we want to make sure we glorify God in all yes. that we do. And, you know, when something good happens, it ain't because of you. Mm -hmm. It's because of Him yes. and His right. mercy. Oh. So I, I just love being able. If you was a football member team, you get stirred up. You know, yes, you, you got the same uniform on. Oh. Nobody's going to fight against the team they're playing. Mm -hmm. So when we come together, we got to feed on the Word together. Yes. Yes. And, and we should be able to feel when somebody ain't pulling on the Word mm -hmm. like they should. So when I say hallelujah, it's something going on, yeah. you know. Yeah. I'm pulling up something that I need. So if you go to school, you're going to have to have a backpack. Mm -hmm. You have to have paper. You have to have pencils. Well, when you come here, you just need to listen mm -hmm. and grow and, and praise the Lord with yeah. the people that are working on us. We yes. need a surgery. Mm -hmm. This is an operation room. Mm -hmm. And when you're sick, you get healed. Yes. So this is not a little game. This is a real emergency. When we come before the Lord, oh, yeah, yeah. we ran up in here because the devil was after us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the next team we're going to play, y'all, we're going to come together. Yes. So I just love being able to uh, be free. In yeah. Yeah. We're, we don't want to come here bound up and leave out because we have a lot of yes, love man. for our community, mm -hmm. the surroundings. Uh, my mother said earlier, um, being at, in this presence of people at your at your workplace, mm -hmm. you are there. You yeah. can see that when he said lunchtime, it's sad how I see people look like they're gonna eat four meals before they go on and back to work on the break. Yeah. How do you eat that much and go back 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. It's like no fasting. So mm -hmm. God said, see how you are changing right. from a frog. Mm -hmm. You know, people that don't have any idea. Mm -hmm. That you can't eat all the time and be happy. Mm -hmm. You know, you need something mm -hmm. more than just food. Like God said, yeah, you, you man that should not live by bread alone, mm -hmm. but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. So we speak a different language to the world. Oh yeah. You know, our bodies are not our bodies. Mm -hmm. Our bodies belong to the Lord. Yes. So I just thank the Lord for this opportunity to let y'all know I love y'all and I appreciate God. everyone you. here. Mm -hmm. And if anything, you know, I can do to be a blessing, just let me know. Because I don't God. want anybody to feel like they need something they can't ask. Amen. Amen. Again, this is a beautiful lesson. Beautiful. Go right ahead. It is a boat ride to find him. But find him that he just in time to give a short lecture. Jesus is very plain in his speech. Yes. Prefacing it with friendly word, liberty, amen, and amen, mm -hmm. and truly, truly. Yes. Indicating that what the Father was to be listened to very carefully. Mm -hmm. He then told the people they sought him for the wrong reason. Mm -hmm. Many still seek Jesus today, but sadly, not all the right moments. Mm -hmm. Some want heaven. Or helping a family business, or to be rid of an unpleasant situation without any commitment to Him as Lord. Mm -hmm. And it says, following Jesus for the right reason and joining a personal relationship with Him. If you desire Him to be Master and Lord, it is a commitment to discipleship. <coughs> and it says in the children's corner, lead children to understand that real faith obeys Jesus. This may not be as difficult to teach as it might seem. Adults are the ones who tend to separate faith and obedience. Mm -hmm. Children seem to know, for instance, that if they trust their parents, they should do what their parents ask of them. It is the same with what Jesus tells us. Amen. Mm -hmm. I remember um, about nine years ago when I came to church, I was running from a friend. I've been sharing this many times. <coughs> 
that I didn't want to hang with no more. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and when she helped me get to the church, I followed her. She had a man in the car that I didn't know. I felt in the car coming out, who is this man? Girl, I'm going, you know, I'm thinking you bring me to church. I'm, I'm for real. You can't be doing this. And the Lord was, was dealing with me when I got out of my car. Mm. And I remember when I came into church, I wasn't looking at the people. I was looking at their feet and their legs. Mm. I saw Mama Brian's legs with the stockings on. I looked at uh, Mother Aura, and I even asked her for an uh, envelope. I seen people putting money in the envelope, and I knew that was about the time. I was like, oh, I'm going to give you one. <coughs> I'm watching people in the church, and I'm still yeah. looking down at their feet and their legs. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Virginia had on uh, stockings, too. Mm -hmm. My God. So after church, I approached Mama Brown, and I asked, I said, <coughs> I'm 40 years old, and I have been buying the wrong size stockings. Couldn't figure out why they kept turning up. I bought four pair every summer before I got it right, you know, before I closed up getting right. She thought I was crazy. Uh, at a couple of 40 years old, didn't know how to put on stockings to come mm. to church. Mm. And we had a uh, pastor C.E.'s friend came 800 miles, and he, he had a uh, preacher one time. And he said that uh, <coughs> people shouldn't be in church knowing only John 316. <laughs> I can admit I still knew John. I didn't know no other scriptures. Like, I had my Bible and stuff, but I couldn't quote. Now my only scripture that I learned after he said that is Psalms 34 and 14. Depart from right and order and do do good and seek peace and pursue. Pursue. Woo! God. Amen. Hallelujah. On to this mm -hmm. to this day. But that it took that. And, and you know, she said you'd be ignorant to the world. I, was, I came to this church ignorant. Oh, I didn't realize how ignorant I was. Mm. My God. I mean, I talked about my own self now. Mm. My God. Mm. I was coming in here talking about my family, the little family functions that was just destroying my soul. Mm. It, shouldn't, mm. it shouldn't be family, it shouldn't be. Uh, hurting people uh, over food. And like Jesus telling us today, they're so greedy that they gather food that's going to spoil. But see, I was seeking that eternal. Woo! Hey, God! Right. Hey! Yeah. Still showing up at church. Yeah. Determination to walk out here. Mm -hmm. I'm still following on my face. But now I'm following on my face because I'm praying for other people. Right. My God. Yeah. Ain't that what we come to church for? Mm -hmm. To learn how to pray for other people and stand on God's word? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I can tell. I can't tell it all in one day. Oh, I'm standing on God's word. Yeah, God. Yeah. Thank God for my church family. Yes. And I am wearing stockings to this day, and I turn them up. My God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, God. Hey, Lesson this morning in this house. I want to come at the old Paulus. Just church, church, church. Speak on the bread. If you see, some folk can't, they can't keep business. They, I think I heard him say that. You can't keep no job, mm -hmm. uh, whatever, you, because you got a bad attitude and all this. And if we eat the bread, if, if, they eat bread every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. God to keep us with our right mind. He keep us focused on the right things. See, we can't go. I had good church today, but I got to hurry up and get to Golden Corral. Mm. No, that don't not to be even. You might go to Golden Corral, but don't let that be your priority. Yes. You focusing on Golden Corral just because you're hovering up and getting out of here. <laughs> you're focusing on Golden Corral. We need to put God first. When yes. we go, we go out of that door, be willing to do it. Yes. And God will help you to do it. Then go and come in and be there. When you get there, you might not even want to go there when you get there with what God wants you to do. Right. Mm. Amen. Looking at our, 
Sometimes it's, it's uh, yes, right now I see people they waiting for God to just rain down yeah. open the windows of heaven. He said he would open the windows of heaven. But that's on condition. If right. you ain't trying to do nothing right, you yeah. think this belongs to you? No entitlement. Amen. You think all this, if God is going to, because it do rain on the John yes, and as well as the Jet. That's right. But when you figure out what Jesus is doing for us, come on. We need to get in a hurry. Yeah. Yeah. If I pick you up every day and take you to work and you get out of my car and don't thank me, mm -hmm. after a while, <laughs> Listen, I'm just bringing it down to earth. Bring it down to what That's we right. That's right. That's right. What we talking about. Mm -hmm. Some folks that want you to do, do, do. Amen. That's right. And they never look around and say, I need to for one thing. I said, it's one for Jesus. Yes. What would we be? What would we do? But when we line up with him, he'll fix us up so we can. All right. Jesus. Amen. 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 So grateful, so grateful that uh, we have these jewels. Yes, yes. I don't take it right. I don't take it right. I'm really grateful for the social pastor, Dad and Mom Bryant. Excellent teaching of the word. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We also appreciate Mother Hunt, Sister Tasha, and other fathers. To send to everybody who participates yeah. in our Sunday school. Right? We are better how? Together. Yeah. Together. Yeah. We are better together. We acknowledge our pastor, Regina Tucker, yeah. and our bishop, Roy Tucker. Yes. Yeah. All right, so today's lesson is the bread of life. Yes, sir. Lesson text. John chapter 6, verses 20 through, excuse me, verses 22 through 35. Mm -hmm. This part of Sunday school is where we go through and review the scriptures of the lesson. Yes. We'll need your Bibles. All right, so, as is our custom here at Mother Tucker Ministries, we'll go back and recap last week's lesson. <coughs> In the spirit of diligence, right? Amen. Like I said, nobody gets it all in one sitting. Right. It's, it's always good to recap and go back. Mm -hmm. What was last week's lesson? Proofs of the resurrection. Proofs of the resurrection. That was uh, Luke chapter 24, verses 36 through 53. All right, so <clears throat> this lesson picks up after the previous lesson, Brother Blue did. Uh, but the story actually begins, and we went back to the 13th verse of Luke, chapter 24, the last chapter in the book of Luke. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to go all the way back to it, but I'm just going to touch on a few scriptures that we went through last week, <coughs> yeah. leading up to the lesson. Uh, so the 13th verse of Luke 24 <clears throat> says that two of the two of uh, Yeshua's disciples uh, they went where to a village called Emmaus. They came from Jerusalem, right? Mm -hmm. Like I said, that was where the Passover, all of that had happened, uh, uh, in the upper room, all of that had just happened. That was the Passover, so that always happened in Jerusalem. So they went to Jerusalem. From Jerusalem to, to Emmaus. Um, and this village was how far from Jerusalem? Uh, three, 
three scores per alarm for almost seven miles. And I made the point last week, it's about from here to downtown. It's about seven miles. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it, so, so Emmaus was about seven miles from Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. um, So Yeshua came close to them. Yeshua kind of got in, in their mix while they was walking, kind of trying to move right along. Uh, verse 17, Yeshua asked them, uh, basically, what are you guys talking about, right? Uh, and are sad, right? <clears throat> verse 18 through 24, they explained what all happened. Uh, <laughs> they explained what happened to Yeshua about Yeshua. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They didn't know who they was talking to, but but they were amazed by the events. Mm -hmm. um, and so, verse twenty-five, Yeshua rebuked them, saying, "Oh, what fools! Fool, slow of heart to do what? Believe. To believe." Mm -hmm. He said, "Yeshua said they were slow to believe part oh. of all the all of what." Prophets. prophets. All the prophets have spoken. All And I made a point last week, he's referring to the Old Testament, right? Yeah. Referring to the Old Testament. He said, slow. He called them <laughs> fools, but they were slow to believe. Mm -hmm. You know, believe is believe is a big deal. Right? Amen. Oh man. Okay, um, I'm going to skip, skip to verse 27. <coughs> so verse 27, where did Yeshua begin his teachings to them? Moses. At Moses. He's working with them about what they were slow to believe. Yes. Mm. And Moses, which was the law, right? Yeah. Yeah. Moses was the Torah. Uh, you know, like I said, that we call bondage in this culture. But Yeshua was teaching them more. He began in Moses. And who? The prophets. Uh, and all the prophets. And all the prophets. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and like I said, this was all the scriptures that they had. That them was the scriptures. Anytime the Old New Testament referred to the scriptures, talking about the law, the prophets, the Psalms, all of them. Yeah. That we call Old Testament. Yeshua, Yeshua expounded or opened up, right? Unfolded, thoroughly explained. To the disciples uh, <coughs> in part of the scriptures. Oh. <laughs> All the scriptures, right? Mm -hmm. All right, skip, skip to verse 30. Well, verse 30 and 31. Yeshua was known to them after they done what? Broke bread. Make, yeah, after they broke bread. After they broke bread, that's when he was known to them. Amen. He broke it and blessed it. Uh, <clears throat> verse 32, they said to one another, <laughs> did not what burn in us within us? Our hearts. Our hearts. While he talked to us by the way, by the way right? Mm -hmm. While he did what to the scriptures? Oh, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. They said, did not our hearts Burn within us mm -hmm. Come on. while he opened to us the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> the scriptures. scriptures. Woo! He made it plain. He opened them up. Yeah, he did. They knew him, but didn't really know him. The scriptures. Right. See. Man, see. But he opened them up, and their hearts were burning. <coughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse thirty-two. They rose the same hour and, and returned where? To their homes, back to Jerusalem. Back to Jerusalem. And who did they find? <coughs> they found their eleven, right? <laughs> Verse 34. Now, what did they say to them, eleven? The Lord, the Lord is what? Risen indeed. Risen indeed. Yes. Yeshua made believers out of them, right? Yes. By opening up the scripture. Yes. Right. The word. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. They, now they said, the Lord is risen indeed. They were, they were able to go back and tell the story. Yeah, the Lord did rise. Yes. Uh, Woo! Uh, 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's 
said, they said, the Lord is risen indeed. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now we're, we're going to our lesson. Some other stuff we, 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 could, we could elaborate. So, verse 36, as they thus, thus spake, who stood in the midst? Jesus. Jesus. Sure. What did he say to them? Peace be unto you. How did they feel? Terrified. They were terrified, terrified and afraid. They thought they had seen what? A spirit. A spirit or a ghost, right? They, was, they were afraid. That's why Yeshua said peace. <coughs> he asked them, he said what? Verse 38, why are you troubled? He said, why, what, what, what's arising in your heart? Thoughts. Why do thoughts arise in your heart? Verse 39, he said, behold my what? Hands and my feet. And my feet. He said, it is who? It is I. You know me. It's me. Right? He said, look at my hands, look at my feet. You know what happened to me. You know, you, it is I. It's I myself. He said, do what to me? Handle me and see. He said, what has not flesh and bones? Right. A spirit. Right. If I was a ghost, you couldn't. You, you can't touch me and feel me, right? He said, "Come handle me and see." Right. He wants them to ghost. believe. Amen. Jesus, have mercy. Amen. He wants them to nothing less but believe. That's right. God help us. And so he said. Handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as you see Amen. me have, right? Amen. When he did that, <clears throat> he did what? He showed, showed, them, all showed them his hands and his feet. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. Did, they believe, did they believe? Yes. Verse 41? No. No, no they, they didn't believe. They didn't believe for joy, no. and they wondered. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he said, have you any what? Food. So they still didn't believe. Mm -hmm. So he said, How, give me some food, right? Mm -hmm. Have you any meat? Mm -hmm. And he already told them a, a, a ghost. <laughs> you can't, you know, if you ah. try to touch a ghost, you can't Never. touch him. Mm -hmm. A spirit. Mm -hmm. He said, okay, give me some food. Have you any meat? It didn't fall in the floor. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what did they give him? Some raw fish. Raw fish and a honeycomb. What did he do? He took it and ate it. Then he said, he said, these are the words which I speak to you when? While I was with you. In other words, I'm saying the same thing. I had already told you this. That, that, that some things must be fulfilled. All things must be fulfilled or complete or completed or come to pass. Which were written where? In the law of Moses and the Psalms. And, and in the, the prophets and in the Psalms, Psalms concerning me. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, All of this was written. I told you this before. Everything was written mm -hmm. in the law and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Yes. I was making a point that, that you can't really understand the New Testament until you understand the Old Testament. You can, now you, you can be saved, don't get me wrong, you can be saved, and I make the point, you know. Mm -hmm. for, for babes, it's very important uh, to just work on your relationship, right? Make sure, we, make sure our relationships right. are right. Right. Amen. right. Make sure our relationship with Jesus, with Yeshua, is right. If we're under the blood, there's no difference. Like grandma would say, Grandma used to say, uh, for newborn people or people trying to get saved, just tell them that God loves them. Jesus mm -hmm. died for them. Right? Yes, Jesus died yeah. for their sins. Mm -hmm. But in the book of Hebrews 6 and 1, it tells us that we, <laughs> to go, we have to go on to completion. Yes, right there. Wholeness. Right there. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Yeah. 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 All right, so verse 45. Verse 45 says, then open he up what? Their understanding that they might understand 
The scripture. Not what somebody said. Not what not all of that. The scriptures. And I brought up last week how Mother Tucker, the late Mother Tucker, my grandmother, uh, you know how she she made that point. It's such a powerful point. I know she said it to her children, but I took it. <laughs> because I, I, I believe that's her heart. She 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 told them, I'll just repeat it again. She was talking to the children, but they, they told this story about <clears throat> how they was telling her how much they appreciated her and how great she was. And, and she, if I remember right, she said something like, I appreciate it. She said, I appreciate it, but get your heroes out of the fight. Right, yeah. Get your heroes out of the fight. So what I heard in that was God point, she was pointing them and us to the Bible. Come on, not to nothing else. So in verse 45, then said, then he, which was sure, the sure of Jesus, opened their understanding that, that they might understand what? The scriptures. The scriptures. The scriptures. Right. The scriptures. Yes, the yes. life is in, our life is in the word. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Oh, yes. Jesus. Verse 46. Yes. And Yeshua, yes. Jesus said unto them, uh, thus it is written, and is behold, Christ must do what? Suffer. Suffer and what? Rise. When? The third, third day. Verse 47, and that repentance and remission of sin should be preached. And I touch, I stop right there and touched on repentance mm -hmm. because it said repentance and Remission of sin. Yeah. Repentance is not just from sin. The word repent means to do what? Anybody remember? Say it again. Change your thinking. Right? It comes from a Greek word, metaneo, which means to think differently. Mm -hmm. That's what repent means. The word that's translated repent in the Bible means to think differently. <laughs> We cannot serve God without thinking differently. Yeah. But it starts with the blood, right? Yes, yes. Lord. <laughs> oh, yes. So the blood is for the remission of sins, for the forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. But then, like I was making a point last week, if, if you're going to, uh, if you encourage somebody to stop smoking cigarettes, mm -hmm. then you can tell them don't stop smoking, and that's good. But they need something. That's not that in itself is not going to get it. They have to embrace something stronger than those cigarettes. Yes, that's right. Another power. The Bible says, uh, "Submit to God and resist the devil." Mm -hmm. Right? And he will flee. Submit ourselves to God. <laughs> something more powerful than slew flee. Right? right. Yeah. So when we submit to God, and He He works on our mind, He starts. To, we have to. This we have to work out our salvation with with, with trembling and with, with trembling and fear. Right? Yeah. We got to work out our soul salvation. Yes, sir. It's a process. Yes, it is. But that's the mind. Yes. We got to work on our mind. This and, and the point that I was making was the gospel is not the Bible. The, according to the Bible, the gospel, the gospel of the kingdom, the Bible is the gospel of the kingdom, mm -hmm. Jesus called the gospel of the kingdom, right. is not just the death, burial, and resurrection, Amen. right? Because that leaves out the mind. The gospel of Jesus preached, the only thing that Jesus just sure preached was the gospel Come of the kingdom. Amen. Yes. Amen. Of the kingdom. Amen. Yes. Amen. And and I just I just say this for clarity's sake. Thank we you, we, Jesus. we have a Gentile centered gospel that we hear. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right, but the Bible is Israel centered. Romans seven. Right. That's right. Mm -hmm. I don't get it all. We talked about that before, it's but true. this is this is the context behind what I'm saying. I don't want to sound like I'm just you yeah. know we have heard this before, right? It's true. But the the gospel is Israel centered. The Gentiles were grabbed in, but they were grabbed into Israel. That's right. Yes. Romans eleven. So anyway, so, so repentance, up. repentance. He said, and that repentance. And remission of sins should be preached. Yes, that's right. In what? Verse forty-seven. All nations. In his, in his name, in Jesus' name, in Yeshua's name, right? Yeah. And that repentance change because we got to change, right? Yes. If, if, if we if we if we accept the blood but don't change our minds, we're gonna go back to the sin. 
Yes. That we were forgiven from. Yes. Yes. So we right. repent from the sin. Yes. Right? Yes. We would repent from the sin, but repent in itself does not mean just from sin. So he said, repentance and remission of sin, which is the gospel of the kingdom. Yes. Uh, that should be preached among all nations, mm -hmm. everywhere. everywhere. But it has an order. Beginning where? Jerusalem. At Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know the gospel so that you first. Okay, verse 48. Um, it says, and who are witnesses of these? You are. You are. Verse 49, he said, he's sending, <clears throat> well, he's sending what? Promise of my father. Promise of, the, of my father. Upon who? You. But you do what in the meantime? Terry, where? Until what happens? You're in power. Mm -hmm. There is a process, right? Terry, <coughs> wait right here. Don't move. Don't jump up too quick. Wait until you, until you have the power. Because the devil, people always say the devil is the devil is this, the devil is this, and he is. But he's supposed to be. What did you say? He on his job. He on his job. He's supposed to be busy. Yes. Amen. I'm not distracted by the devil. I'm thanking God for what he's doing. Thank you, Lord. Amen. The devil does have power, but I always say his smoke don't compare to God's fire, right? I don't know. The devil is busy. And he's supposed to be busy. Right? Now that's not a strange thing. Right. We need power. Until he said, he said, you stay right here in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. Yeah. Right? Endued or clothed with power. Uh verse 50. He led Yeshua led them where? As far as Bethany. He did what to them? He up his hands and blessed them. He always does. Thank you. Verse 50, verse 51. Well, let's, <coughs> we're, we're, let's skip on down to verse 53 because we got, we got to move on. Amen. And they were continually where? In the church. Doing what? Praising and blessing God. Praising and blessing God. God. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. All right. On, on to our lesson today. The bread of life. Mm -hmm. this, our lesson text is John chapter 6, verses 22 through 35. Amen. All right. Um, now, this lesson picks up. This lesson picks up um, when the Passover. Uh, was nigh or close. Now, now I'm going back. I'm trying not to go back too far. <laughs> but this lesson picks up after the, after the Passover. Uh, it says, after Yeshua performed what miracle to those who study? Y'all talked about it. Like the bread. Right. Right, men five thousand. Mm -hmm. so this lesson picks up after that happened, right? Yes, yes. <coughs> That's <coughs> Luke six five to fourteen, where he fed five thousand. Like the mother said, men. They said men, mm -hmm. verse ten. So it would have been a lot more. Yes. With five loaves of bread and two and two 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 real big fish. Two yes. small. Uh, two small <laughs> fish. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Two small fish, right? So that was a miracle. Yes. Right? Yes. All right, then in verse 15, Come on. it says Yeshua, and I want to, you know, so I, 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 use, I use Yeshua. Uh, I say his name, it ain't nothing. But but it is it is something, there's something about the language. Uh, yes, sir. I'm going to read something right quick. This was, uh, I told you guys before, you guys know that, that there was uh, books taken out of the Bible. It was called the Apocrypha, uh, 15 books. So one of those books was called The Wisdom of Yeshua, the son of Sirach. Yeshua was a common name. It really meant Joshua. The same name as Joshua. It was a common name, but 
with Jesus Christ, for sure it was unique, right? Yes. Yeah, but it, it wasn't a it wasn't a unique name in itself. That's why they said Jesus, who was called the Christ, or Jesus of Nazareth, or all yes. those things, right? Mm -hmm. Really, it was Joshua, for sure. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it's, but this is another person, though. Right. But in, in 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 there it says, "You are therefore you are urged therefore to read with good will and attention, and to be indolent." In, indulgent in cases where despite our diligent labor in translating, this is out of the Apocrypha, we may seem to have rendered some phrases imperf imperfectly, for what was originally expressed in Hebrew does not have exactly the same sense when translated into another language. Not only this word, but even the law itself, the prophecies, and the rest of the books differ not a little as originally expressed, mm -hmm. right? So me, me saying that it's, I'm not, I still do, it, God knows your heart, right? He knows who you're talking to. God knows your thoughts are far off. I don't get that deep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's good to know, right? Yeah. It's just good to know, and then you know better. You got to do better. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right, so, so, <clears throat> I don't know if I distracted when I say this shoot. So anyway, uh, let me find out. So the bread of life. Uh, mm -hmm. So this, like I said, this story. Okay, the lesson picks up after the Passover, after Yeshua performed the miracle of the five uh, loaves of bread. Yes. It said, verse fifteen. He did. He departed uh, again unto where? Verse fifteen. A mountain. Alone, right? Himself. Himself alone. And he perceived that they would come and do what to him? Take him by force and make him a king, right? Verse 16, verse, I'm going to skip verses 16 to 21 talks about uh, when he walked on the water, right? He walked on the water. Now we're going to get to today's lesson. So he walked on the water. They came from the other side. Uh, they came from the east side of the Sea of Galilee, which in Greek is Tiberias. So, so first verse of our lesson says, The day following, or the next day, the people which stood, where? The other side of the sea, uh, which was in the eastern side, where Yeshua fed the 5,000, the miracle. They saw that none other boat, none other boat was, was there, save the one who entered. The disciples. Now, did Yeshua go into that boat too? No. 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 This is what the people saw, right? right. The people on the other side saw his disciples uh, were gone away. How? Alone. 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 Verse twenty-three clarifies that that there came other boats from where? Tiberias. Tiberias, which is Greek for Galilee. Galilee is the Hebrew word. Nigh or close to where? That's where they ate the bread, right? So they came, so it's a boat. Boats came from Tiberias, a close to the place that they ate bread. Yeshua, and after Yeshua gave thanks, thanks right? He blessed the food like Mother was saying. Mm -hmm. Verse 24 What did the people do when they saw that Yeshua nor his disciples were there? They took shipping. Got on the boat, got on the ship, and went where? Uh, Looking for who? Jesus. Looking for Jesus. Verse 25. Did they find him on the other side? Yeah, they yeah. found him. Yes. They called him Rabbi. They called him Rabbi. They said, Rabbi, what? When's coming style here? Though? Or when did you get here? As the NIV reads, right? Yes. Verse, uh, verse 26. Yeshua answered them, saying, you seek me not because you saw what? Miracles. miracles. The miracles would cause them to believe. Yeah. He is concerned about what we believe. Come on. Man. Believe oh, is everything. Man. What you believe. Yes, Jesus. So all he was concerned about was what you believe. Yes. He said, You didn't you're not looking for me because you saw the miracles. Wow. He told them they saw them because they did what? <laughs> Eat of the loaves and were the loaves was the same word as translated bread, right? <laughs> they they wanted something to eat. Yeah. That bread was good. It must have been good. <laughs> <laughs> they they wanted some more of that. Yeah. Oh, that's what people do, though. 
Everything God does is good. That's right, brother. If God did it, it's going to be good. Verse 27, God, excuse me, Yeshua told the people, labor not for what kind of meat? That, that word meat is food, right? Labor is the same word as work. It said basically, don't work for the food that perish. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. He said, don't work for the food that spoils or perish, but he continues to instruct them to labor or work uh, for that meat that does what? It does. It does. It does. Jesus told them to labor or work for the food that endures to eternal or everlasting life. <coughs> One version says, but work for the food that stays good and gives you eternal life. That's the ERP version. Yeshua continues saying, who shall give you this eternal life? The Son of Man. Jesus, Yeshua, right? Yes. Who has sealed? Who has sealed or, or authorized the Son of God, the Son of Man? God, God did. Yeah. Verse twenty-eight. Then the people asked Yeshua, "What shall we do?" Because <coughs> he said to work. Right. He said, "Do not work for the food that perished, right. but work for the food." So he said, "Work." So they said, "What shall we do?" <laughs> they're following him, right? They're, they're trying to follow him. They said, what shall we do that we might what? Work. 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 The works of God. Mm -hmm. So they're following him. They're, they're, you know. Verse 29. Yeshua, told, Yeshua answered them. <coughs> he told them uh, what the work of God is. Right? What the work of God is. And they did not understand. Amen. That ye do what? Believe on who? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There goes again. The word believe. The work of God is that you believe on who? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On him who has sent. Yes. Whom he has sent. Yes. And who did he, God, send? Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Sure. Verse 30. They asked him, what, what? <coughs> Verse 30. They said, what sign? Yes, show us thou. Show us thou. That we may what? See. That we may see. That we may see and believe. And believe thee. Mm -hmm. They ask, what does thou work? work right? Yes. Verse 31. Then Yeshua, <coughs> they told Yeshua, our fathers did what? Eat. Eat manna. Eat manna in the desert. Where? In the desert. In the desert, in the wilderness. In the desert, as it is written, there it goes again. As it is written, right. they gave <coughs> he gave he gave them what from heaven? Bread, bread, bread. bread. to what? To eat. to eat. Now I love this. I love this right here. Mm -hmm. They knew the scriptures, right? Yes. We, and we read in the scriptures. God did give manna down from heaven, right? Uh -huh. Whoo! I, I love what Jesus Yeshua told them. <laughs> Jesus, verse 32, Yeshua said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, mm -hmm. Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. And he's teaching them, that this lesson don't really go all the way into it, but he's really giving us some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Verse 33, he says, he said, uh, for the bread of God is who? <coughs> is he which does what? Now that's the bread. That is the food, right? And what does this bread give? Life. Where? To who? To the world. Mm -hmm. They said unto him, Lord, evermore do what? Give us, Give us bread. bread. Now, now he said, this bread, he said, Moses didn't give you the bread from heaven. This is not one, this is not what this is not really what God is saying right now, right? 
He said, my father gives you the true bread from heaven. Yeah. For the bread of God is he which cometh down, he which cometh down from heaven mm -hmm. and gives life, life. Yes. to the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Then said he unto them, they, they, they said unto him, give us this bread. Yeshua said unto them, what? I am, I am the bread of life. Mm -hmm. He said, I am the bread of life. And when he said I, he's talking about, now at that time he hadn't died on the cross yet, right? Mm -hmm. But he preached the word. Amen. And I always say this gospel that we talk about now, we, we say the gospel is the gospel of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But with, with all, with all, we, all we put in that is death, birth, and resurrection, which is the beginning. Yeah. But the gospel that Jesus preached mm -hmm. was a message yeah. of wholeness. This is what Jesus, when, yeah. when, when yeah. he thank you. Thank you. When, when, when the Bible says he preached the gospel of the kingdom, when the Bible says John went about preaching the gospel of the kingdom, mm -hmm. of the kingdom, yes. that was a message of wholeness also. It didn't leave the mind out. It didn't leave the mind out, right? Amen. I'm talking about the Bible, right? Amen. <clears throat> that God be true in every man's life. So I'm talking about the Bible. So, so the bread of life that gives eternal life. Yeah. Okay, let me stop. Right? Amen. I'll keep going. <laughs> He said, he said, I am the bread of life. Yes. I think about when Peter said, when, when, when Yeshua asked them, are they going to leave? How did he get that hard saying that goes into that? He gave that hard saying. They said, it's a hard saying. Mm -hmm. They eventually left. A lot of people left. He asked his disciples, are you going to leave too? Right. Do you remember what Peter said? No. No. We got nowhere else to go. He said, but you have what? The words. The words. Of eternal life. Yeah. Woo. Amen. Oh, bread of life. <clears throat> so he said, I am the bread of life. Uh, he said, He that cometh to me shall never what? Hunger. 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 Mm. And he yeah. that believeth, there it is that word believe again, yeah, on me is. shall never thirst. thirst. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Bread of life. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. that yeah. Mind, you guys have any closing thoughts? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Father God, we thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our lives, Father. We thank you for the, we thank you for the word, Father. Yes. We thank you that you are the bread, that you sent the bread. We thank you for the bread that you sent down you, to die for our sins, that we might have the right to eternal life. Yes, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for what you're doing by your spirit. We're constantly praying for the sake of the shutting, God. We thank you for what you're doing in the body of the people. We thank you, Father, for mind the body of the your word that says by Jesus, the sure Christ, we are Yes, thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our lives, Father. We thank you for the words that's coming forth. And we thank you for what you're doing, Father. We thank you for ever. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen.